Most people uh, who I've been meeting in the last couple of weeks have had their list of this is the one thing that I'm going to be really thinking about this year. John? I've got to mention the B word. I mean, it's such a fundamental thing and it's creating so much uncertainty. To be honest, until we know where that's settling, it's such a thing that's going to be quiet. It's troublesome. What's on my mind is that the world knows what we truly do, particularly in the digital world. Make sure that it doesn't break every three weeks. Okay, so no breakages. Yeah. Hashtag uh, time's up. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Very good. John, talk to me about what you've tried to do where you've been bringing marketing and digital together. We took the view that multidisciplinary teams from all levels needed to work together in teams focusing on particular things. The game has moved on. I mean, we've just done a study uh, amongst a thousand CEOs and 50% of them said they're not disruption ready. They're not ready for this digital era. For me, the, the blurring of what's marketing and what is a customer experience, what is, a, what is fundamentally the experience of a, of a business, could be the product itself. I'm not exactly sure yet what, what it means to kind of have a fully digitally enabled organization from top to bottom. I do think because we're building an operating model from scratch virtually, it enables us a little bit to put in place processes and workflows. The biggest question everyone asks us is digital transformation. We see the model needs to change to reflect the needs of our clients and our customers. You know, we live in a world where I think brand and long-term investment in campaigns and big ideas are actually still really important. I'm very happy to hear that you know, everyone is still talking very much about creativity. Of course, it's the lifeblood of our industry, but we are seeing that and, and how that evolves and grows. Thank you all for listening to this this evening and thank you to the panel.